What's uh, is there a point in that game where you feel kind of comfortable? <laughs> is it tough to, to to not let down or to keep yourself up when you're up forty whatever you were at, at that point when you're probably last playing? Yeah, for sure. I mean, going in the game, we kind of um, we can't take obviously take any team easy, so we gotta go out there and execute our game plan. Um, and if you know if the ones get our job done. Um, and maybe games like this, maybe going in the second half, we kind of, our idea is to go out there um, and play to the best we can so that a lot of other guys get an opportunity to play. We have, everyone on our team deserves to play. Um, it's just kind of how it works where only a limited guys do, but um, it's awesome to have a game like this where a lot of people get to get in the game for sure. Is it nice after, you know, the last couple, you really haven't had one of these mm -hmm. like last week. Most people I'm sure on the outside were saying it should be like that yeah. and it goes down to the wire. Kind of nice to have a breather, get up early, and, and, and maybe feel that. Yeah, it's always nice to have a game um, where I think we executed on both sides of the ball really well. Um, besides maybe one or two drives on offense in the first half, um, so it's really it's it's really great for us to be able to execute um, like that and to be able to get those guys in there. Like I said, it's um, awesome for everybody. Is this proof that you guys executed through the week though? I mean, after a couple wake up call games. Uh, did you guys have a good week of practice and kind of have the focus and, and all the, those things that Coach Rickles talked about for a game like this? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, Coach came in um, on Tuesday and kind of ripped into us a little bit just talking about um, we can't prepare or play to the level of our, our opponent. Um, where UCF, we had a really great week. Um, and maybe ECU last week, we didn't have as great of a week. So um, we got to prepare the same no matter what the team is um, or who the team is and whoever um, walks through you know, those doors on the other side. Um, we can't pay attention to who it is. We just got to prepare the same way every week. So we had a really good week of practice, um, and I think it showed tonight. I know you only look at things week to week, mm -hmm. but seeing what's happened kind of in the east of the American, does it, do you get that sense that pushing towards the finish line, you know, to, to try to accomplish winning a, a conference championship or anything like that? Does that enter in, or do you strictly stay in the week-to-week -week thing? Yeah, I mean, we definitely got to stay week-to-week. -week. Um, I think the whole team knows it's there. Um, the whole conference knows it's there. Like, it's not something that um, is super, like, don't talk about it, don't talk about it. But um, we know it's there, and, I mean, at the end of the day, if we execute week-to-week, -week, then things are going to play out like they play out. So um, we just got to take it week-to-week -week, no matter um, what happens at the end of the year. Is there is there something you take from that ECU trip that – where you guys are now that, that makes you understand what it is to be a good road team? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, anywhere you play on the road. I mean, that was a great environment last week on um, East Carolina. Um, I think I talked to you a little bit earlier in the week. I, personally, I think it really brought us together um, as a team. Um, obviously, it didn't go the way we wanted. The end result was the way we wanted, but obviously throughout the game, um, we didn't want to be in that situation. Um, but personally, I think it really brought us together as a team, um, and we're able to build on that each week. Um, just continue to um, build off that momentum. So. We're good. Thanks.